Well, hello everybody and welcome to this Way Back Wednesday video. Now, this originally uh, started out as an open tag. I'm uh, filming this prologue here to it just a little bit. But I've decided to turn this video into a Way Back Wednesday video. And again, uh, Warthog, thank you so much for this delightful open tag. So you're going to see a clip of where I started another open tag and I never got that one finished. So watch that and then we'll come back. Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. Well, on uh, I think it was one of RJ's Knives Live, which you can tune into every Sunday at 1230 Central or 1030 Pacific. Um, one of the viewers, I think it was Jerome, uh, kind of challenged everybody to take a knife that they have not carried for a long time and make it their daily carry. And I thought, man, that's a great idea. And so what I decided to do was to pull out my old Victorinox. Uh, this is an economy recruit. And it's an economy because it doesn't have the uh, uh, toothpick and the tweezers to it. I bought this in Hong Kong back in 1989. And through the 90s and up into the 2000s, this was my daily carry. You can see it got carried a lot because you can see the white has rubbed off of the shield there. So I use this knife a lot. I used, took this camping a lot. Um, yeah, I just use this knife a lot. And we'll just open it up here quick. So here's your main blade. As you can see, it's been sharpened down. Uh, chewed up. I need to try to get that blade conditioned and sharpened back up just a little bit. But you can see a lot of the blade is gone because, yeah, I used it. And of course, you got your uh, can opener here. And this uh, opened a lot of cans of soup and beans and such when I'd be out camping or fishing. And of course, the screw screwdriver tip there. And then you have your cap lifter, another screwdriver. Your wire stripper, you know, pretty standard uh, blades here. And then your, your little pen blade there. So what I'm going to start out doing is I'm going to try to uh, get this blade sharpened up a little bit. It's not terrible condition. But you can see it cuts pretty rough. So I don't want to get this touched up. Um, clean out any pocket lint that's down in here. And just for good measure, probably throw it in the mineral oil for a little bath. Get it uh, reconditioned here just a little bit. And then I'm going to carry it. So, yep. Of course, my first step here is let's try to get it sharp again. I'll let you know how it comes out. Alrighty then, we're back here to the Way Back Wednesday, uh, here in the Way Back Machine. And so I have done some uh, some honing on this blade here. I use the, uh, this is something I bought a long time ago, the AccuSharp, the three stone. It's got a fine, and a medium, and then a coarse. So I don't know how well these work. They... It seems to work okay for the little bit of touching up that I do. Um, so I did about, uh, I don't know, probably about 20 strokes on each side. After about 20, I was starting to feel a burr there and come back the other way with 20. And then I used, uh, well, this is a work sharp. And this is a pocket sharpener. It's got about 400 grit right here, and I think it's a 22 degree angle there. I did not use that portion, but I did use the ceramic rod, which in one of uh, Worksharp's videos, they said it's about 1,000 grit. So I gave it about, you know, 10 swipes each way with that. So we'll take a look at this knife here, and I can tell she's doing better. She's doing a lot better, not uh, not having the jagged edges like we did have. So we're getting there. I think my last uh, 
my last step on this main blade here is I'm going to try to use uh, this dropping uh, stick here that uh, J.O. Ventures made for me and sent to me and he had it preloaded here with some uh, compound on it. I'm not uh, the best at dropping. Not sure exactly how to do it. I've been trying to practice it here just a little bit. But it's uh, my understanding you just kind of let the, the weight of the knife work on it there. Don't necessarily put any pressure on it. And you're just trying to knock off any of those little tiny burrs and such that you might still have. So we'll give it a few straps. Let me know in the comments. I need your help. But you see, Jerome, I can sharpen a knife. I can sharpen a knife. Now there's a little rough spot right there in that blade where it got chewed up. So that's what caused there. But when we get down in here to the good part of the blade, why? Let me see if I can just try this again. Whoops. Oh yeah. Yep. We're getting there, aren't we? Just take some time. I guess that's been my whole problem with sharpening is patience. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just end up not having much patience. Now I can sand on old knives and uh, clean on them. Look at that. That's a pretty good edge right there. Again, you can't uh, take this into account because that part of the blade's all chewed up. But out here on the front, it's looking pretty good. Not bad at all for just a little bit of work that I did. Considering the, the shape the blade was in. We'll just try her one more time here. See what we got. Yep. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. She feels pretty sharp. Let's check out this pen blade. So anyway, one of the reasons I wanted to do this for way back Wednesdays, this economy recruit, oh yeah, she's pretty dull. Pretty dull. Well, if I get the right angle on it, that wasn't too bad, was it? So I think she needs touched up. Let's touch, touch her up here a little bit, see what we come up with. So there is a, a good way back Wednesday story to this knife. Uh, as I said, I had bought it in Hong Kong in the late 80s. And uh, boy, I carried it through the rest of the 80s and through the 90s. Up until the 2000s here. And uh, then I kind of retired it because it was getting in kind of bad shape. Now I lost count. That should be about 10. So anyway, sometime in the 90s, I was flying from the States. Is anyone counting for me? Is that four? <laughs> Flying from the States, flying to uh, Japan to, to meet a ship. And I get off at uh, Narita International Airport. And guess what? I had this knife in my pocket. And as we're deplaning and go down through the causeway, enter out into the airport, and there was a, uh, someone from the airlines, and he had a a uh, tray or a box in his hand full of pocket knives and I saw other passengers stopping and grabbing their pocket knife and I thought uh oh I guess I was supposed to turn my pocket knife in I never did I still had it on me so of course now this was back before the days of you know 9-11 and how TSA is really ramped up so 
Okay. Oh, look at that. We just needed a little bit of a touch-up. Let's drop it now and see what happens. Just laying her down there pretty almost flat. Giving her a few light strokes. Again, maybe John from J.O. Ventures. John, if you see this video, am I doing this right? Let me know. Okay, give it a few strops there. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Look at that. There you go, Jerome. Joke's over. I can sharpen now. I can sharpen now. Except for that piece. <laughs> this knife, uh, this blade has a little kind of a rough chunk out of it too. Now I don't carry this knife anymore. I've got the Evo Grip 11. And it really suits my needs. Well that didn't work, did it? Making me look bad here, paper. What is it? What is it? Why is it sometimes? Must be my angle. What is that? I'm catching it on that rough spot right there. That's what it is. Let's give it a few more strops. And to see what we end up here. I can tell you it's a lot sharper than when I started both of these blades. But this is this knife is just like an old friend. Just like an old, old friend. There you go. If I start it up in here and not down in there, she does pretty good. She just does pretty good. Yep. So there you have it. This is my Economy Recruit. Again, the Recruit because it has no toothpick or tweezers. As you can see, it's kind of oily because I did soak it in mineral oil. But the action on it is still really good. And on the Recruit then, you have the pretty standard blades here. Got your uh, cap lifter, can opener, uh, screwdriver, screwdriver, wire cutter, nothing on the back side. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've sure enjoyed uh, kind of getting this knife back into shape. Now she's going to go back uh, with my personal pocket knife collection, knives that I really used to carry and use. So until next time, have a very delightful day. And oh, hey, don't forget to check out the playlist down in the bottom right-hand corner.